Hello and welcome to ITNs. So I hope you guys are enjoying the videos, right? And you're liking it, right? So if you're liking it, uh, I would request you to please subscribe on this channel and click on the bell icon to get the notifications real time. And also, you can click on the like button and feel free to share the video with your friends and colleagues, right? The motive about this video is to provide uh, uh, the knowledge sharing for Azure, right? Great. Now, um, till now, we have touched base on the various storage technologies that Azure provides, isn't it? And it's, it was really good, I mean, to learn those technologies, right? Now, in this session, what we are going to do is, we are going to touch base on a new technology, right? Before I give the name of the technology, let me actually give, a, give you a scenario, right? For example, you are running an application, right, where you, are going to, you want to process an image or process an invoice, right? Now you have tons of data which is coming in. Do you want to process one image at a time or one invoice at a time or one order at a time and then uh, leave uh, the other ones on the backlog? Um, or do you want to put it in uh, a way, I mean, that it will accept all the information uh, from the customer or from the user and then it will process that information in the backend, right? Do you want to, I mean, which one actually will be the better one? I mean, first one where you want to keep the user waiting and tell them, hey, listen, I can't take any more data. I'm actually working on your first data. Right? Or you take the data from the user, tell the user, keep on sending the data to me and I will actually process the data on the back end. You don't have to bother about, um, I mean, waiting for sending the data. Keep on coming in, right? That's, that's what should be the ideal scenario in our industry, right? I mean, uh, the competitive world, right? So, the next technology which uh, we are going to talk about is about Azure queues. And we are going to touch base about Azure queues, how we can utilize uh, Azure queue storage in our um, infrastructure and, uh, I mean, make use of it uh, to gain that customer confidence, right? Great, I'll see you in the session then, thank you. Welcome back to ITNs. So now uh, let's have a look on Azure queue storage, right? So um, as we discussed uh, in the uh, earlier part of this session, uh, what if, if you want to have uh, the various uh, queues, right? I mean, various invoices that needs to be pr processed uh, all uh, in, uh, in the queues format, right? So. Uh, let's give an example. So you want to have a customer who wants to upload some invoices or put some orders or upload some pictures. So you want to process this information in the back end uh, without impacting the user, right? I mean, you don't want to ask the customer to wait and tell them that, no, uh, hold on, I'm processing the first part. Uh, so you hold on with your data uh, and I'll let you know once I'm done with uh, processing for the first part, right? Rather, you want to have a system which will accept all the data from the user and then it will process it in the back end uh, and actually then provide it to the application. For example, you want to accept images and you want to process that as a thumbnail of the images, right? So you want to accept all the images um, without impacting the user. Uh, let user upload all those images and in the back end, those images can be stored in the queues. Uh, in the form of a message and that queue uh, messages will be uh, converted into thumbnail in backend right so that's that's the advantage of azure queues all right okay so let's take a brief overview on azure queue storage all right so what are azure queue storage so azure queue service uh, storage is a service that is used to store and retrieve messages asynchronously so that is that is very important it actually does it asynchronously right so Q can store up to 64 KB of messages and they can have um, 
your application ha can have uh, multiple queues and each queue can contain millions of messages okay so queue provides asynchronous communication between components of application via a reliable messaging okay so each message each uh, message in the queue will be processed asynchronously all right queues can scale independently even when the application components are decoupled okay messages can be accessed over internet using http and https protocol so uh, you can access those messages um, securely over the internet from anywhere in the world uh, on over http and https protocol all right let's uh, have uh, the concepts uh, about uh, queue storage right so as you can see uh, there are few things that you would want to have and you have to set up your uh, queue storage okay so first one is your storage accounts right so storage accounts it's like for all access to storage um, azure storage is all done through a storage account right so uh, if if you want to set up any any storage uh, be it blob be it files um, be it um, for now uh, queues and in the next session we are going to log, talk about tables or manage this for anything whatever you do you need to first have a storage account right then second part is access over internet so uh, queues are accessible using URL so as you can see uh, you have a storage account and you have configured various queues for your application right invoices orders images now each queue will have its own URL okay so it will be uh, tagged to the storage account which you're going to use okay and then the queue.co.windows.net slash invoices again this is going to be all in the smaller case and again it has to be a unique name right so in case if you are using a um, storage account uh, and you have multiple uh, uh, you want to configure multiple queues by the invoices you have to be sure that those are all uh, going to be unique right okay great uh, so any number of queues can be created as we had discussed in the uh, previous slide and as we can see out here in the diagram any number of queues can be created and each queue can store millions of messages and process it asynchronously right so you don't have to I mean um, uh, worry about um, what will happen I mean which one will um, uh, will be synchronized so each queue will be synchronized asynchronously right great so messages uh, in this queues can be stored in any format um, there's no restriction on the format right okay great so um, that uh, that's all for this session now guys uh, if you have any further uh, queries you can post it on the comment section and you can actually visit uh, these below links to understand more about uh, Azure right great um, Thank you all and that's all for now. Uh, we'll see you in the next session where we are going to talk about Azure uh, tables. And uh, for now, uh, we have covered quite a bit for Azure queues, right? Great. Until next time, have a great day and keep watching and keep learning. Thank you.